Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. It be me up, right? Because niggas try to glorify bullshit. Like, you niggas try to glorify soft Niggas try to glorify niggas that ain't that. Niggas that's flaw. Nigga, we know when niggas flow when we deal with them in the streets. We know when the nigga flow. Like, we understand that they flow. We don't capitalize off they flawness, though, because we'll capitalize off real shit. We ain't gonna capitalize off no nigga being flawed, weak as hell. Nigga, we understand what a nigga weak as hell. Then he a street, call himself a street nigga. He could be a street nigga, but he's still weak as hell. We don't capitalize and try to glorify this shit. No. We gonna sit and have conversations about niggas as strong as us. We don't have conversations about niggas as weak as hell. Wow, check it, man. Hey, man, it's your boy, you CEO, man. I'm just, uh, like I said, I gotta, I gotta stop and talk about this just for a minute, man. Uh, Jay Prince Jr., he speaks out, you know, um, talking about a weakness, man. Make sure you gotta like, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you share what I'm doing. Uh, hit that uh, notification bell. But, you know, it's amazing to me what people start to think that you're not going to hear from these people when you start speaking on their names um, or or when you start confrontating with family. You're going to hear from these people at the end of the day. Um, these all brand ambassadors, when you think about it, when you think about from Jay Prince to even even Junior even, and, and, and your boy uh, uh, Joe Budden. Or whether it be, uh, it is what it is, Cameron and Mace. Everybody got brands and everybody respect their brands and everybody want to see their brands flourish. So a lot of times when you speak on something that could affect a brand, then these guys are going to speak out and it's going to be some back and forths. Um, I agree. You know, a lot of times people do. You don't know who weak, who real on this Internet, you know, when people saying whatever. Um, there's a lot of times, uh, like I said, when it comes to the South, it have to be some respect. You can't just, like I said, Joe Button, of course, y'all have heard how I feel when I say he done spoke a lot of times on Southern things, whether it was the Migos or whether it was NBA young boy, or even, you know, even with Drake or whoever, when he was, he, he know who he rocking with. Uh, when it come down to uh, a lot of our patriarchs from Birdman, a lot. Of, so I do be seeing that there is a bias and there's a region where people stick to their regions. I get it. When it come to P, you, I just heard somewhere they were talking about P and they didn't know the music or whatever. You hear this stuff all the time. But at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, we all running brands, bro. We all pushing brands. People know who we are. People know who you are. I mean, people understand that your brands matter. So we just got to figure out a way to understand how to respect each other in the midst of trying to figure this out. And it's funny to me because it's only our culture that do this a lot of time. You don't see uh, a lot of these. Uh, and, and people jump in our culture just to do some back and forth with people. Have y'all noticed that? It'd it, it be, it be the, 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 a lot of these guys that are not, don't look like us will jump in our whole hip hop culture to try to figure out a way to make themselves a part of a back and forth. I, and, and then it's a lot of them that's famous rappers. I ain't going to say no names, but they look like they don't look like us. But when, as soon as they see one of our people going through something, they speak on it. I see you niggas doing that too. So I know it's some, it's some people out there. As soon as they see somebody down, whether it was Michael Jackson that was going through something or, or now that it's Diddy going through something or whoever going through something, it's funny how the other race, when they see somebody going through something, they'll jump up and say something that's negative. And I'm telling you right now, we I see what you're doing. And that's why I don't really rock with you, too, because I know what y'all be doing. And at the end of the day, a lot of people done stole from us. And, and when it comes to our culture, I'm not trying to hear it. I respect what we got going. But back to the brands. Like I said, whether it be my, like I said, I respect Jay Prince. I respect what we got going, I, that, what the legacy is or what he built. Uh, for Texas and, and Master P will say the same thing. Birdman them has spoken on the same thing. I'm just talking about the music. Now, 
his business and his branding. Like I said, if you rub up against it, you're going to hear from Junior. You're going to hear from people in the South. You're going to hear from Sauce Walker. You're going to hear from everybody because they're going to feel like if you talk about screw music, you're going to hear from If you talk about swangers, if you talk about uh, uh, niggas is wearing shags, you're going to hear from these people, man. So if you do that, you're going to hear from people in the South. I'm telling you right now, if you want to talk about how people dancing and doing whatever, whether it be that Memphis stuff they doing, you're going to hear from these people. So you on the East Coast, you might not understand. I, I Like I told my partner at the barbershop yesterday, I don't never shoot dice with three dice. That's you up north, niggas. I've never done that. I'm not a three dice shoot nigga, but I hit you with the two. I'm not, I'm, I'm straight up shooting it the way I, you know, we, way we do it down here. But I, but I'm, I got my girl reality TV. She going to speak on a little bit of what's going on too. She know this hip hop. Some of you youngsters, she know better than me. So let me get to it, man. <laughs> reality TV, you in the building? I'm here. You know I'm here. Well, you know, I just was speaking because uh, Junior spoke out, and he hadn't, like I said, he hadn't spoken, and he ain't, he don't really be getting on here because they've been, they been going through a lot. Right, right, and I just feel like it's, you know, it's okay, but you know, he didn't say. I don't think he said anything bad. I'm no, he ain't say no. He just said you can tell what's real, really. But it's a lot of people right. gonna jump in the comments and they are gonna be totally against him because of all the stuff that go with their name and their position. Mm -hmm. And a lot of niggas are intimidated. And I, and like I say, real kings ain't gonna get intimidated by nobody. So at the end of the day, that's why you'll hear people speak out. Oh, it is. That 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 be fear. A lot of times niggas speak from fear. I'm not, I walk around. I'm an older cat. I don't walk around like that. Some people forget that uh, it's people in the industry world that's really about that life. You know what I mean? Like, they really in the streets. They really don't, you know, they stand on business and they stand on, you know, with the morals. And, yeah, I'm, look, I'm out of that Jay Prince and all that. I, <laughs> I ain't in it. <laughs> no, man, it's got, it, it, like I said, it got to be some boundaries when it comes down to the brands, though. All these guys are big brand brand ambassadors. They all, whether it be like I say, Mace, whether it be Cam, uh, uh, whether it be uh, uh, Cameron, or whether it be um, Joe right. Budden, uh, they got big brands. And but when they speak, it speaks volume. So of course, people gonna say something back. Maybe Shakur was wrong, but Shakur is young, ain't he? He's a younger kid. Very young. And when you look at older cats speaking to younger kids, and yeah, he might have said something off the fly. If I was 20, nigga, I'd cuss everybody out, to be honest with you, 25. I, everybody getting cussed out. Right. So I, I understand that these niggas, these, these do, and, and, and ain't nothing wrong with Mason talking about his performance either, but they can expect he's going to say something back because people be young. But like I said, he won at the end of the day, so it really don't matter. But I think a lot of times people don't really understand how to deal with this stuff, bro. So they'll, they'll run around and, you know, uh, we say a lot of things, man. And like I said, I see a lot of people and I'm always, you know, in these streets to be real with you. So I'm just, Hey, I'm just saying, you know, we got to do what we got to do to, to make sure that, 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 you know, at the end of the day, we hold down our brands correctly. That's all I could say, but no, it's, it's all love. I just, like I said, I just know being an older cat, you be wanting to see everybody get along, right? Hey, it don't work like that. That just ain't the way this world work. And at the end of... It's okay, me, it's okay to put your pride to the side. It's okay to be the bigger man sometimes. You don't got to bump up your chest all the time. It's okay to put your pride to the side. Yeah, and that goes for every party, man. But, yeah, I, I real, I'm real strong. I'm a Texas cat to my to my core. And I ain't trying to hear nothing when it come down to, the, to what we do down here. And you already know that. And everybody that watches the show know that. So I'm going to always say something. And at the end of the day, I want to make sure you know that there's love everywhere, but it got to be some respect at, at, at all costs, you know? Yes. But check it, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys get in the comments. Let me know what you think, man. J. Prince Jr. speaks out. And at the end of the day, you know, what you think about that? Do y'all feel like, I don't know who he was talking to. He didn't really say he was talking to. He just said, you know, they don't speak on whatever is weak. And, and hey, what who you think he's talking about? Who do y'all think that he's even talking about? Let us know, man. Like, subscribe to the channel. Boss Talk 101, man. Texas, man. Signing off. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.